If I were responsible for putting together the first team to permanently inhabit the moon, I'd be thinking about what's the right size. And for me, sort of the minimum size is probably 10 to 20 individuals. It's enough diversity that we have the set of skills uh, that will uh, enable any emergent condition to be handled by a person there. I think it's probably a 50-50 mix of men and women. I think it is probably a team of people who are younger in age. And then it's a matter of what the skills we need. Obviously, you'll have a physician, <clears throat> you'll have a number of scientists, you'll have a number of, um, of builders. It's going to be mission specific. What is the purpose of that first crew? Is it to, uh, to build out a facility and habitate it uh, and maintain it? Probably. Uh, the fact of the matter is we'll find out because I think the likelihood is that with the moon and with Mars within arm's reach of the technologies we're building today, we're going to be able to make that happen in our lifetime. If you have any questions about the Google Lunar X Prize or space in general, feel free to ask me anything in the comments below. And we may feature your question. Thanks for watching.